Hey, what's going on everyone? Today's May 2nd, 2023. Here to talk about ICP real quick, give you all the future outlook about price and where price is anticipated to go. You guys can already see it. First of all, I did a price prediction back here in February, February 22nd, 2023, looking for ICP to go down. That is exactly what the market did. It didn't even take long for you to hit our ultimate TP price. What may be on the 25th or so three days into the prediction, market came and gave us that 13 and three quarters of a percent. If it were to stay in all the way to like March, you guys can see that probability will have increased to 35%. But nevertheless, congratulations to those who was able to profit from that market move in ICP. Now we're going to come in and do another outlook real quick. And I wanted to first of all show you how price in ICP is still in a trend. Okay, that's the first thing. We're here to identify that the current price action in the market in ICP has been trending okay and this goes all the way back to the beginning of January of this year the market has been trending okay so okay cool we got that the general broad pattern of the market in ICP is up now this is the area though that we need to be focusing on to maintain that pattern is we need to allow the buyers to come in and confirm that they're still willing to hold ICP alongside this trend line the moment that we see price in icp break this trend line then we need to let go of the idea that icp is going to continue to go higher okay so looking at this on the daily chart i wanted to show you all how the last day we received this up fake and push to go down bar all in one day this definitely tells us that this is selling and weakness and it's coming around the same price area of the up fake which occurred on the 19th of april as well so yes this whole area right here is where sellers are that's why price currently is showing its weakness here okay so the daily time frame doesn't look bullish here it is on the two-day chart we have 12 hours and 59 minutes left and we're still getting a indication of weakness a push to go down bar here on the two-day time frame so if anything i'm telling you now that we do have a little bit more weakness to contend with in icp now it doesn't mean that we're going to look for it to run down to three bucks okay but we could possibly see the market initially try to find buyers around 550. that's the closest area that we need to see the market in icp confirm that they're still looking for the price to trend and the trend is up okay so here's icp on the weekly time frame uh, and I'm here to tell you in five days and 13 hours, if the market in ICP closes down here on this current wicked price bar, again, that still confirms weakness. Okay, two weeks, you guys can tell. Every time the price in ICP runs to seven bucks, we see more selling and price closes off the highs of these two weekly price bars. Okay, so again, I'm just showing you the charts. Look at this on the three weeks. We have five days, 13 hours left, and it kind of resembles this three-week price bar. So as price goes higher in ICP, we begin to see increases in selling and price close on the low, right? So again, we're getting the same type of price bar right now in ICP. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and drop the price prediction on the chart real quick for ICP. And like I said, I'm not massively bearish, but I do think price is going to trend a little bit lower initially. And at first target, you guys can remember, I said it was around 550. So that's what three and three quarters of a percent move to the downside in ICP. Okay, $5.49, give or take. That's the first target though. Okay, that's the first spot that I want to get buyers into the market to confirm to me, if anything, that they're willing to hold price. My second target, it's going to be around $5.25. That's 8.02% move to the downside. $5.25, you guys can see it right there. Now, outside of that, my third target will take us breaking the trend line to five bucks. That's 12 and a quarter percent move lower from where the price is currently trading at. $5 is my third target. Now we bring, if price in ICP comes all the way down to five bucks, then we're not gonna be trending to the upside 
but rather we will just maintain a consolidation of trading range like this. That will be the next range that I'll be looking forward to in ICP's price movement. All right, so that's it. I am done. Give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain a profitability, and as always, trade different.